This is Alim from Javelin. In this video we will attempt to straighten a bent wire. To make things more complicated this is an imported uh, feature so we don't have the history for the part and also the face along the wire is unique so they are not a series of tangent faces. There are many ways to solve this problem. The one that we will use will concentrate on determining the neutral fiber. Our assumption is that it's going to go through the center of this profile. So let's control first of all the location of that neutral fiber by creating a sketch on this face and drawing two lines that are going to be perpendicular to each other. I want one to go along the horizontal direction and one along the vertical direction. That by itself will not locate them, so I need to add one more relation. So let's go by midpoint. The midpoint of this line is going to be in the middle of the other line. So now they are located properly. First, I'm going to identify a line that's going to follow along the main face of the wire going through this point and maybe another one going through that point. For that I'm going to use the face curve command. Um, you can look for it. Just search for commands face curves and if you think you're going to use this more than once you can drag it over one of your uh, toolbars. In this case I put it on the sketch toolbar. Other um, popular places would be the surface toolbar. You can see I have it here too. Or the direct editing toolbar. So let's add it on the direct editing toolbar also. So face curves. If you invoke the command without starting a sketch first this is what's going to happen. You select the face where you want this to, to be created and let's say I'm going to go by this point. You can see it's going to create two pairs of face curves. So, sorry, a pair of face curves. One along the profile and one in this direction. If I click OK right now, a 3D sketch gets created. One for this and one for that, which will create a mess on the feature tree. So, let me delete these two and let's use a different technique. I'm going to pre create a 3D sketch and I'm going to call the face curves about this face going through this point. And I don't really need the, the pink one, so I'm going to deselect it from here. You can see the line that got created. Let's do it again. So face curves. And let's go by this point now. And again, just the, uh, keep the cyan one. You can see the two face curves have been created inside one sketch only. Now don't get um, upset on the fact that this seems to be underdefined. If you did a sketch you're gonna see you cannot really move these things in any way. They are defined by this relation called face curves by point. So if you edit this you can see what's going on. Uh, so these are, these are pretty pretty stable. One thing that uh, some of you might ask, what's happening if I edit this sketch? So instead of horizontal, this can uh, and vertical, this would move. What's going to happen in this case? Are the face curves following? And you can see the face curves are following, following uh, without any problem. So uh, they are pretty powerful, um, pretty powerful uh, commands. And even when I undo, it looks like it works fine. So I'm, I'm really happy with that. Uh, allow me to color this sketch. Let's make it um, what would be a color that works for people who are colorblind. Cyan. Cyan would work fine. Next, let's build the other two sketch curves. So I'm going to edit this sketch again and call the face curve command two more times. One going through this point. And uh, notice uh, because I went too fast I created the extra circle. I don't mind that. I can either leave it here or delete it. It's, um, it's not gonna impact the workflow going forward. And let's do it again. I'm gonna go and add another face curves based on the last point. And again I forget to delete the the pink curve. 
and you can see now the, the four face curves. Allow me for a moment to hide the solid body. Remember, a quick way to do that, you just hover with your mouse over it and press the tab key. There are many ways to build surfaces now. You can use fill surfaces, you can use loft surfaces, and you can use sweep surfaces for, uh, for building the actual surface. And I'm going to leave you the um, pleasure of identifying which one is the, the best. Let's try the loft surface in this case. I'm going to go from this to this in one direction. And you can see the, the result. You can also try sweep surfaces. You can try fill surfaces. Um, let me press Control T, Control Tango, in order to, to show this in the flat 3 mode. I'm going to show the 3D sketch again because I want to create also the second loft surface. And you can see how this has been done. I have two surfaces that theoretically should intersect on the neutral fiber. And as I said, I'm going to leave you the pleasure of trying fill surface instead of loft surface or boundary surface or swept surface. See which one would give you uh, the most interesting um, intersection. Let's call the intersection curve from the um, sketch menu and I'm gonna get these two surfaces to, to intersect. So let's try again. I'm gonna run the intersection curve. And you can see that I have now the neutral fiber or what I believe should be the neutral fiber. At this point I don't need these two surfaces anymore allow me to delete them. I like to keep my feature tree as clean as possible and also allow me to hide this sketch. So now this is the neutral fiber. Let's call it as such. This one would be nice to have its own color. So let me pick, pick up purple. And that's the length of the, of the wire. You can see it right here couple of things that I can do at this point. I can show again the imported body and create another sketch over here, run convert entities, I have the overall length and let's extrude this with the same length of that um, spline. How do I do that? Well, let me save this sketch for a moment. And let's go back to the neutral fiber sketch. What if I draw here a straight line going from this point along the x-axis? And I make this line the same length as the spline. So in SOLIDWORKS 2017 you have make curves equal length relation. Now I can take that circle and extrude it up to the end of the line. Do not merge the result. You want this to be a separate body. You can see how, if I isolate this, how this becomes the straight, the straight body. In the next video, we will take this one step further. We will try to dynamically unbend the wire. Thank you.